All right, guys, I had to do a follow up because um, there's some new information that I did not have previously from the Daily Wire. Megan Kelly suggests sex, some um, spicy accusations against Pete Hegseth doesn't pass smell test. Now, this is interesting to me. Journalist and attorney Megan Kelly weighed in this week on the spicy accusations swirling around Trump defense secretary, defense secretary nominee Pete Hegseth, saying the accusation smells and highlighting how police decided not to prosecute. The police report concerning the allegations against Hegseth, a decorated combat veteran and Fox News host, was released on Wednesday in response to a public records request. An unnamed woman claims Hegseth did some bad things to her in a hotel room back in 2017. Hegseth said that the encounter was consensual and police decided against any further actions. The Monetary Police, the Monterey Police did not bring charges, Kelly said, noting that the accuser's husband and children were apparently asleep down the hall in the hotel. The accuser's husband and children were apparently asleep down the hall in the hotel. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> quote, Pete said that he got swept up in some women's guilt trip over the fact that she chose to sleep with Pete Hegseth, big, uh, big Fox News star, while her husband was asleep down the lane there in the hotel, and she didn't want to tell him the truth. What I what I, I I I I don't know. Hold on. The cops chose not to prosecute. Kelly continued, "If they found some date drug in her system, she said she said she had a because she had a you know R kit done, right? An exam the next morning." they 100% would have prosecuted him. That's what I thought. ABC didn't really even report on that part. I. So to me that that one smells, Kelly said, and it smells bad. The police report said Hexeth told authorities that he repeatedly sought the consent of the woman and made sure she was comfortable with what was going on. Video footage from the hotel shows the pair leaving a hotel bar with their arms locked together. Well, that doesn't sound like somebody that was fuzzy after I took the drink. I, I, I don't know how I got there. Somebody must have, you know, slipped something in my drink. Video footage from the hotel shows the pair leaving a hotel bar with their arms locked together. So she wasn't screaming? I would think that she would be screaming. Shouldn't she be screaming? And then she would be screaming about, hey, 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 this guy, this, this, this maniac. Hexeth's attorney confirmed that his client paid the woman an undisclosed amount of money and had a confidentially agreement out of fear that the woman would try to ruin Hexeth's career despite the host maintaining that the encounter was consensual. That's the part that bugs me. Why pay her a dime? Why are you giving her any money? That's just that, that, because here's the thing. Okay. Let, let's say that it's, you know, 50 grand. Okay. Just, just shut up about it. Okay. 
because it becomes he said, she said, and in whenever it becomes he said, she said, the press and everybody else takes the woman's side. N never mind the fact that women will target men. That's immaterial. That's why you should never be alone with a woman that ain't your wife. And for those of you who are you're dating, mm -hmm, good luck. But but what I, I still don't see that. I, I don't understand that. Why are you giving her money? The police report confirms what I've said all along, that the incident was fully investigated. The police found the allegations to be false, which is which is why no charges were filed. They would have, I mean, if they found something in her system, then they would have filed. Now, the police said, the report said, they just, you know, gave it down to, they just handed it off to the district attorney, but apparently the district attorney didn't pursue it. Now it's looking a little bit more. Caroline Levitt, a spokeswoman for Trump's transition team, similarly said that police found the allegation to be false. She also called Hegseth a highly respected combat veteran who will honorably serve our country when he is confirmed as the next secretary of defense, just like he honorably served our country on the battlefield in uniform, according to CNN. Um, I got to come back to this. The police report says that Hegseth told authorities that he repeatedly sought the consent of the woman and made sure she was quote comfortable what was what with what was going on close quote video footage video footage from the hotel shows the pair leaving the hotel bar with their arms locked together uh, you mean she wasn't being dragged away? Her, her said, she said that, that, that I, I was fuzzy. Somebody was put something in my drink. Everything was fuzzy. And I, I woke up in a hotel room. I didn't know how I got there. And then he stood by the door and wouldn't let me leave. Um... <laughs> Hold on. I, I don't know if there's any more to this. Okay, so that's it. I, I, I had to do a follow-up because the video footage to me seals the deal. Okay. It, uh, she's mad that she slept with a man while her family was down the hall. And um, I still don't understand giving her a dime I don't understand that. I will never understand that. Why in the world are you giving her money, Pete? Why? It doesn't make any sense to me. But there was a an R kit done on her. If they found if they found some illicit drug in her system, you really think that they would have let him go? I mean, they would have prosecuted immediately. That's the part that I didn't get. It's like, well, wait a minute. What did the report say? Because they do a toxicology thing, don't they? I never worked in a police department, but they got to do a toxic toxicology, you know, report of like some sort of forensics to figure out whether or not the drug is in her system. And if there are no drugs in her system, her hold everything just got fuzzy. Here's the thing about, you know, uh, the what they call the date, you know, drug. Um, you don't get fuzzy. You're out. You don't get fuzzy. You don't get fuzzy. You are out. They locked. They were, <laughs> they leave the bar. Locked arm in arm. And she's feeling guilty, and rightfully so, because her family is just down the hall. I would like to know what she did with the money, and did she tell her husband that she got some money? 
Where, where'd you get that money, honey? <laughs> yeah, $30,000 just dropped into our account. What, what, what happened? And then she they said that she told him I was I was I was I was assaulted. That's why you you got 30 grand. I mean, that just you're right, Kelly, that does not pass the smell test. All right. That's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.